we often hear a statement like, isn't it amazing, every time someone wants to do a development, up pops an Aboriginal sacred site. Well, it's reasonable to assume that an independent observer would be more likely to say, out of the whole Pilbara coastline, why is the only place suitable for the Burrup Peninsula industrial development on top of the rock art? Imagine if you read in the paper that part of Stonehenge was to be bulldozed for a coal plant or the Vatican for a soccer ground or the MCG for a, I don't know, IKEA store. Well, the Burrup rock art should be as significant as Stonehenge, the MCG and the Vatican to all peoples of Australia and the world. The rock art dates from about 30,000 years ago to works depicting European settlement and includes what is believed to be the oldest known image of a human face on the planet. If size counts, there are between half a million and a million separate works of art there, making it one of the largest collections of art anywhere in the world. It's recognised as one of the largest and perhaps oldest collections of petroglyphs in the world. And I must add here, when I talk about it as an art collection, of course it's far more than that. It's not just an art gallery, or a museum, or a church, or a history book. It's all of that rolled into one and more. In addition, it's recognised culturally as being directly connected to other sites in the northwest of Western Australia. Our society has little appreciation of the meaning of this area and its connection to other sites beyond most people having heard of terms such as songlines. This is compounded by the 1968 Flying Foam Massacre of most of the Yabarara custodians of that site. The fact that there is uncertainty about both the number of images and their age shows the historical lack of appreciation of the site. And it's interesting to think that the government has commissioned the CSIRO to try and prove that ongoing pollution in the area won't degrade the rock art and we still haven't had a comprehensive study of the whole site. It just shows you what our priorities are in our society.